Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to show you the latest version of the Priya 3D model inside of the real-time generation. Wow, this is something amazing! Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the homepage of the Korea. Now, Korea just released the Korea 3D inside of the real-time generation. That is something quite terrific. Let's check it out. So we click the Propose Images. And now I'm selecting Compose, right? So we have four buttons, remember? So first is Text to Image, then Compose, and Screen, and uh, Camera, of course. So I'm going to choose the Compose. Then something amazing is here. So whether you can upload the image or you can choose a generate image. They both support the 3D generator. So let's choose the first one, generate image. So let's type. See, I'm just generated a toy, right? And also we can copy this prompt to here. And something is amazing is here. So when you click the, your right panel, we have a convert to 3D. But before that, maybe we should remove the background first so we can click the remove the background. Okay, perfect, the background is removed. And here we have AI's drawings. I'm gonna take it to the middle. So basically, AI's drawings is about uh, the similarity from the left to right. If we increase, it will be more close to the prompt. And if it's less, then it will be more close to the um, image on the left. Okay, so now we click the Convert to 3D button. See, we have a 3D layers, so we can delay the previous one. And we can enlarge it. And notice that we have this uh, 3D button, so when you drag it, wow! Previously, we cannot control the angle of the characters that we just generated by AI, right? So now, with the 3D models, we can easily control all the perspective of the, our characters and using the Korea real-time generators we can generate the same character but in a different angles, right? So this is a quite amazing and something big, right? And imagine you are designing a product that you need to show different uh, perspective. It's so cool, right? We can play around it all day. <laughs> what about the images that we already generated in our computers? It also works. So let's delay this image and let's click the upload image. And let's give a little bit of background noise. So when you click the last button of the toolbar and you can find this background color sites and we have noise here. There's something new, right? And uh, let's enlarge this image and click remove the background. And let's click the Convert to 3D. Check it out, we have this progress bar here. And let's delay the previous layers. And now we have a very cool helmet. And enlarge it, and we can change the direction. The characters on our right is changed as well. And this is really amazing. It basically changes everything. And don't forget, you can click the Quick Enhance to get the better qualities of this image. So we can play around with different perspective and maybe we can mix with different styles, right? And now you just get the image right from your mind. This is crazy. I think so basically it's transformed 2D images into 3D models and we are using Korea real-time generators to tr transform your 3D back to the 2Ds. So that is really crazy concept. I don't think I have ever seen anything like it in the market. And I hope you like it because it's available for all the plans, even free users. All right, that's all for today. I hope you like this episode and go have fun. I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye, my friend. Bye. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.